Question 31 says the coefficient of linear expansion of two metal rods A and B are alpha 1 and alpha 2 respectively. The length of rod A is L1 and of rod B is L2. If the difference in length remains same at all temperatures, then which of the following relations holds good? Dear students, for rod 1 we can write down that L1 dash minus L1 would be equal to L1 alpha 1 delta theta. And for the second rod we can write down L2 dash minus L2 would be equal to alpha 2 L2 into delta theta. Dear students, on subtracting these two equations, we can write down that L1 dash minus L2 dash is equal to L1 minus L2 plus L1 alpha 1 minus L2 alpha 2 into delta theta. Because these two values are same, they cancel out and we can see that L1 alpha 1 is equal to L2 alpha 2. That is L1 by L2 would be equal to alpha 2 by alpha 1. Which makes for this question option number 1 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 32. Question 32 says which of the following curve best represents the isochoric process for an idle gas. Dear students, for an idle gas PV is equal to NRT where V is the volume. For an isochoric process V is constant which means pressure is proportional to temperature. That is the graph between pressure and temperature is a straight line passing through origin. Which means option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 33. Question 33 says an idle gas is carried through a thermodynamic process as shown in the pressure volume diagram. Choose the correct option. Symbols have their usual meanings. The options are delta T is equal to 0, delta Q is equal to 0, delta U is less than 0 and delta W is greater than 0. Dear students, we can see here that the pressure and the volume both decrease which means that the temperature would decrease as well. And when the temperature decreases, the ray, the change in internal energy would be negative. Which means option number 3 is a correct statement. The students here, since the volume is decreasing, the work done will be negative. That is option number 4 is incorrect. And since delta Q is addition of delta U and W, option 2 is incorrect. And delta T is not equal to 0, which means option 1 is also correct. Therefore, answer for this question is option number 3. Now let us discuss the question number 34. Question 34 says a gas is taken through a cycle A to B to C to A as shown in the figure. The net work done by the gas will be. Dear students, the work done is area of the PV diagram. Therefore, we have find out this particular area. The area will be half into base that will be 0 0.1 meter cube into height that will be 20 minus 10. That is 10 kilopascals that will be 10 raised to power 3 also would be there. On solving this expression, this will be equal to 500 joules and therefore answer 1 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 35. Question 35 says the efficiency of a Carnot heat engine working between freezing point of water and 273 degrees Celsius is. Dear students, the efficiency can be written as 1 minus T low by T high that is the low and the high temperature. On substituting the given values, this can be written as 1 minus 273 Kelvin divided by 273 into 2 that is 273 degree Celsius has been converted into Kelvin which will be equal to 273 plus 273 that will be 2 times of 273. On cancelling 273 efficiency turns out to be 1 minus 1 by 2 that will be 1 by 2 that will be 50 percent. And hence, option number 2 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 36. 